On the Jabe UD1200 video that I did a little while ago now, I've had a few people in the comments asking whether you can use the 210 handpiece on that particular station. Now when I tried it, the 210 cartridge that I was using got red hot and then promptly died. So in terms of certainly my station, no you definitely can't. However, I had a couple of other comments saying that if you connect pins 5 and 6 of the DIN connector for the handpiece together, that is enough to tell the station that you're using the smaller handpiece and it will switch from 24 volts to 12 volts to accommodate that particular tip. So let's take a closer look at these connectors that are on the end of these JABE and JBC handles. The first one is from the clone of the JBC. So this is the handpiece that came with the JABE UD1200. So you can't connect five and six on that particular connector anyway. Apparently the way to tell whether the station would be able to provide the voltage that the 210 hand pieces need is to connect these pins uh, five and six together in, a, in the 245 handle, which is the bigger one, and then see if it then outputs 12 volts into that handle. That way you don't risk damaging the 210 cartridges and or handle. But obviously without a, um, without a pin six there, you can't do it on the J1 or not on this one anyway. Let's have a look at the actual proper JBC245 handpiece. Now we can tell this is uh, not a clone because unlike the, the JABE handpieces, this actually has the high rows uh, markings on it at the top. But as we can also see in this one, pins one and two are populated. Uh, so is pin five, but pin six isn't either. And this is the T210 handpiece connector. Again, we can see that one and two are connected. So I'm guessing that's the, the heater element and the thermistor. Uh, pin five is connected, possibly ground maybe. We can check that later. And we actually have a contact in pin six. So that does kind of hold true that maybe that is how the JBC uh, stations tell the difference between the 210 and the 245 hand pieces. Having discovered all of that, I think we need to have a look at the uh, Jabe station and just see what the, that pin 5 and that pin 6 actually do and see whether they're connected inside. So this is the Jabe station, so let's have a look and see whether that pin 5 is connected to ground or earth as that is kind of the common pin, the pin 6, like, like I say, is only connected on the uh, 210 handpiece. So the order they go in is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then middle one 6. So let's put our probe on that pin five. And that is connected to ground. So the important one in all of this is really that pin, that pin six there. And we need to see whether that's connected internally inside the station. This is what's inside my station. If we just have a look at this connector here, we can see that only three pins are actually connected, which will be the one and two and five, I would imagine. Now, once we have a look at it close up, we can see that only three of the pins are actually soldered in on this board. The centre one isn't, and those two pins to the right of it aren't. So this board and this iron have no way of signalling to the microprocessor that it needs to be supplying 12 volts instead of 24. Now it might be that there are some hardware versions where that middle pin is actually connected, but this isn't one of them. I think logically it would also be reasonable to assume that if you did take your Jabe station apart and that pin was connected, then in theory it should be able to support those 210 tips. This is a picture of the main board inside my iron. I'd be really interested to see pictures of um, ones from people stations who do allegedly support the T210 uh, handles. So I guess the answer to the question of whether the Jabe UD1200 supports the T210 handpieces, um, certainly from my point of view, is no. However, there may be hardware revisions that do, and I don't know whether there's any way to know other than by taking it apart really, and just looking at that centre pin and seeing if it's connected, because they're not going to bother connecting it if it doesn't have a function. You know, these things are very much built down to a cost. 
I'd be really interested to hear from anyone who has got a 210 handpiece working on one of these stations who can actually take it apart and just look at this circuit board and maybe look at the main board and just see if there are any differences that allow it to work. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, uh, you are welcome to leave them in the comments area below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye.